Hello, this is what the 11 video of the year. This year has 53 videos or 53 weeks, and every week we are taking just one video about five minutes or a little bit to discuss to us that which can be a form of inspiration or motivation. Well, I, I guess you already know. So we're gonna go deep into this 11th topic, which borders around strategy. And last week we began to say that your foremost important strategy is spiritual warfare. We read from the book of Esther chapter 4 verse 15 and 16. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go gather all the Jews who are present in Shishan and fast for me, neither eat nor drink for three days, night nor day. My maids and I will fast likewise, and I will go to the king, which is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. So our first strategy was spiritual warfare. This week, I'm going to take the second strategy. And the second strategy might be a little bit disturbing in your thought processing, but I want you to please bear with me as I will try my very best to clarify it. And that second strategy is go outside of the norm. I would have said go outside of the law, but of course you know that I am not the kind of person that would come out and encourage anyone to go outside the law. It is not wise to break the law because the law is put in place to protect somebody like you and I. Now when we begin to break the law, we begin to water down the law's ability to protect us. So Esther in this place went outside of the law. What law? The law was that you don't get to see the king uninvited. If you do, you are sure to lose your life. But Esther, because she had guaranteed spiritual warfare, she had cooked herself in the place of prayer, was now able to break the law and do that which is out of the norm. In the days of Esther, it was breaking the law. Look at what she said. She said, I will go to the king, which is against the law. In the days of Esther, it was break, breaking the law, going against the law. But in today, it is going against the norm. Have you ever done something out of the normal, out of the ordinary? It's a winning strategy. It's a solid strategy. Everybody expects you're going to do it in a particular way. But you go, listen, the people who have broken records are those who went out of the norm. When they say it's not possible, that's when they're excited. There are people alive that their intoxication borders around the things that are not possible. Once you say it cannot be done, that becomes like a challenge to them. Because the regular normal people would like to do things according to the norm. This is how my father did it. This is how my great-grandfather did it. This is how my great-grandfather did it. This is how it should be. Same old, same old. But some people say no. It must not be like this. It is normal for both to you know, ride on water. Abnormal for a human being to walk on water. But Jesus came doing that which is abnormal. And when Peter saw it, Peter got challenged and Peter said, I can do this, just ask me to come. And when Jesus asked Peter to come, he stepped out of the boat and also did that which is abnormal. Could it be that your life is waiting for you to do that which is abnormal. Could it be that your mind has been challenging you to do what does not make rational sense or meaning or reasoning? Could it be that the reason why you are where you are is because you are afraid to take an abnormal step? <laughs> I want to challenge you. Do like Esther. Move even when people are saying don't. Go even when people are saying don't go. Try it even when people are saying it's impossible. To go to the king uninvited was impossible. But that was what excited Esther. That was what attracted Esther. To do something that is impossible. Can you stand to challenge impossibility? Can you tell yourself that before the year 2020 comes to an end, I can rise and do something that is impossible? You know, let me tell you the truth. When you think that it's impossible to kill Goliath, 
you will never know how possible impossibility is until you find yourself facing impossibility. Arise today. Go out of the norm. Don't be defined by the norm. Be defined by God. Immediately your heart conceives that it's possible. No matter how impossible it is. No matter the fact that it has never been done. Rise up. Because the grace to do it is on you. God bless you. Have a beautiful week. See you next week. Shalom.